Okay, so now let us look at trying to prove the associativity for rational numbers under the different operations. So let us take addition first. So in this, what we are going to do is we'll take any three rational numbers. Let's call them A, B, and C. And then what we will do is we have to add these three numbers together. And the difference that we will do is, in the first case, we are going to add A plus B first, and the result of this will be added to the third rational number. And then we take the same numbers, and what we will do is we'll first do the addition for the other two, that is B plus C, and then we add the sum to the number A. So let's start with that. So now the three numbers that I've taken, A is minus two by three, we are adding B is three by five, so this is A plus B, and then plus we add it by minus five by six. So when I solve this bracket first, that is minus two by three plus three by five, okay, Again, you have to remember, we have already covered this method earlier, you convert the numer uh, the denominators into the same, um, you, you, you get a same denominator denominators and then proceed with the addition as shown over here. So when you simplify this, you get minus 1 by 15. Now this we add with minus 5 by 6 as it's shown over here. Same method, you again take the, you make the denominator same okay and proceed with this addition now be careful of the sign here both of the numbers are negative minus 1 by 15 added to minus 5 by 6 the resultant is a negative number so we get minus 27 by 30 now if we were to simplify it we get it as minus 9 by 10 so we we, we just simplify this further to the, the lowest form that you can get now let us try the other one so in this case what we will do is we'll do b plus c addition first so in this case minus 2 by 3 is as it is but we'll first add 3 by 5 plus of minus 5 by 6 and when i simplify this bracket what we get over here is minus 7 by 30 and then we add this sum that we have got minus 7 by 30 to minus 2 by 3 and when we simplify this again by making the denominators same okay we get minus 27 by 30 and simplifying it we get minus 9 by 10 so what we have proved for three numbers it doesn't really matter the way when you are adding three numbers the way in which you group them doesn't really matter it gives you the same result always and you can try this by taking any other three rational numbers for yourself and you will find this always to be the case hence we say that the rational numbers do follow the property of associativity under the operation of addition now let us try to do the same thing for subtraction so in this case we follow the same method so we will first subtract two numbers a minus b and then the result of the subtraction has to be subtract subtracted uh, from that we will subtract the number c so the number a here is minus 2 by 3 minus of that is subtracting subtract from minus 4 by 5 from to minus 2 by 3 and then c is minus 1 half so in the first case what we do is we open up this bracket now keep in mind we have to understand that these are negative numbers and there is more you know one negative sign between so be careful of the sign now when we open up this bracket and simplify it we get 2 by 15 okay and then we have minus 1 by 2 so this is our c so this is the a minus b part here and this is c so this now we are doing a minus b minus c and when i simplify it we get 11 by minus of 11 by 15 now let's do it by grouping the b and c first that is we do b minus c which is shown over here in this case i am doing minus of 4 by 5 minus half okay and when i simplify this i get minus 13 by 10 as is shown over here and this minus of 2 by 3 which is a is same as it is so now this is b minus c right, the result of this and this is a so we are doing a minus b minus c and when i simplify this further we get minus 59 by 30 so as you can say these two are not equal to each other right and therefore i say that a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c that is the way in which we order the numbers 
for subtraction does have an impact on the result the result can change as we have shown here and again it would be a good exercise for you to take any other three rational numbers and try to see if this is the case so in the next video we will try to prove the associativity for rational numbers for multiplication and division